So the Acura 7365, a quartz chronograph, paying homage to watches of old. Is this watch any good? You'll get to find out everything you need to know in this review. I'll see you in a moment. So the stats and specs for this Acura 7365, basically I've got this for £130 from Watch Shop, a little bit less than retail. Check out, they're often on sale lots of different places, so you can get a good deal on these. I'm judging this as a £130 retro style watch from a British company, Chinese made, uh, British design as well. So you're getting something that's unique and different for not too much money, really. And so that's, the spec is an important thing to know. I mean, what are you going to be getting for your money? I mean, I know it's kind of a fashion watch, but it has some functionality. Uh, we do have stainless steel construction, which is great. It's not plated brass or anything like that, but it is mineral crystal, but it's decent enough. It's not that kind of toolish watch. It's more of a fun summery day kind of holiday watch, I would say. Uh, case size is a 40, bang on, which is lovely. Lug to lug is really short. It's only 46 and a half, so it's going to wear really well. I'll show you on wrist in a minute. Height's only 11 mil. And you've got a signed crown, which is really good. It's just a push-pull crown, 50 meters water resist. You've got your pushers here for your chronograph. Uh, Myota OS21 quartz moving in there, which is obviously the chronograph and date complications. Big dial on here. It's only, uh, well, it's 33 mil, but that includes this tachymeter ring, which is integrated inside here. So nice. And we've got really good contrasting going on here with black and silver and orange, all colors that work beautifully well together. I just think it looks stunning. I was drawn to it when I saw it online and I thought, I've got to take a look at this. It's stunning. I just love this panda effect. and. That sunburst style, it's just a beautiful bit of British design there. And it's very retro, very 70s of its era, these kind of racing watches. It's just gorgeous. So functionality-wise, you've effectively got, there's no ticking seconds hand. The only ticking you'll ever see is when you start using the tachymeter. So you press start there, nice positive action to start it. If you want to sort of pause it, if you will, there's no more feel. There's only initial click when you start it and then you press it again, there's no feel. That's your counter there on the left hand, uh, subdial. The right is just your 24 hour subdial. It's kind of pointless. I don't really like the 24 hour one because I know what time of day it is. So I don't need to know it's nearly noon. I'd know, I'd just look out the window. Is it dark or not? If it's nearly midnight, gorgeous. Again, yeah, you reset by the pressing the bottom one, like that. Nice zips around. And you've got the date complication down there. Push pull crown for time and date adjust. So pull that out, take for the date. And one more pull, easy to pull out. And then that changes the time. Very straightforward, very smart. Let's check out the case back. Got a nice etching on here for accurate. A few details on the back, as you expect. Mostly brushed this piece. I really like a bit of polishing on the few parts of the bezel and, and obviously the pushes and things like that. Nice to have this sunburst effect with the brushing as well on this part of the case. Check that out. Very clever. So the brushing replicates the sunburst effect on the dial. Gorgeous really smart and it's a lightweight watch to wear 113 grams so you're not really gonna notice it on the wrist it's just gonna melt on there so i'll get this on wrist and show you nice milanese mesh so easy to readjust this for sizing got a fold over keeper there to stop it popping off and you've got accurate etched on there really nice bit of branding really good quality milanese mesh but i'll show it a bit later on and a few different strap variations which transform this watch it's amazing how different the strap can be and this does have a little bit of lilium on here there's a loom time lapse is popping up it's it's actually acceptable it's not as bad as you think for a watch with tiny little indices and tiny bit of loom on the hands but it actually is okay so that's the stats and the specs guys let's have a chat about this piece in a bit more detail So this Accurist, guys, would I recommend it? That's what you're going to find out in a bit. I'm going to discuss the things I like and the things I'm not so sure on now. Gorgeous. The things I like is the fact, first of all, it's a unique design. I love its cushion-shaped design from the 70s. I love the colorway, black with the orange and the silver, the sunburst effect. The proportions are spot on. It's so comfortable. It's got some functionality to it. It does actually have the, the, the functioning chronograph, which you can use for timing things if they are that way inclined. It's 50 meters water resist, which is practical for occasionally jumping in the pool if you have one of those. I'd say it's more of a fun watch you can wear in the summer months, but then in the winter, autumn months, you can put it on a nice leather. Uh, here's some examples of it on a few straps. I mean, in the summer months, you want to get it wet a bit or it's just hot days. I've put it on an orange Tempest and also it looks great on a leather. It is on a tan, which is one of the crazy horse collection. 
again that's something that it just works well the earthy tones contrast against the orange and the silver and the black it's it all works together in harmony and that's what I'm be, i've kind of mentioned a lot already is that it's the design you're paying instead of obviously very popular in the budget sector people to get for value for money they want to get something that's much specification as possible and that's what you do get with homage watches or watches from china but what's nice to get from these more affordable brands such as Acuris, seconda pulsar loris timex there's so many other brands out there that they can offer you something that although all those watches are I've just mentioned brands a lot of them are made in china sometimes in japan they are really good value you're getting something that's a unique design you're going to get something which has consistent build quality with a consistent warranty with good customer service that is all things i also like about buying from a brand that is well established for a long time And Acurist is one of those brands, I do like the, the, the heritage, a part of British pop culture, if you will, for, for, from, from since the 60s, they've been in loads of things, they've been involved you know, with fashion, and, and Acurist have been involved with sponsorship deals, with football, for example, John Cleese did an advert, There's, they've been involved with the, the talking clock, loads of quirky, eccentric bits of history, the pedigree, and they still offer affordable watches, British design, that's all things that add up to what I like, but the actual, objectively, what I like about this watch is it's functionally very easy to use, it's very comfortable, it's very well made, for not much more than 100 pounds an easy thing to add to the collection something with a bit of retro snazziness which is what i love gorgeous but there's a few things i think it could be a little bit better i think the price is still a little bit high i think it could be closer to 100 even on sale it's 130 the i don't like the 24 hour sub dial it's pointless to me but i like if they, they did a bit of research and found one that had a spinning seconds hand or, a, a, or an hour counter as well as the minute to so sort of go go to the next level of it being chronograph function there's only actually one sub dial that's of any actual use I do love that orange i'll go back to positives again i do love that orange it, it works so well it's really clear and the hands as well even though they are black and they contrast against the silver dial they're very slim they're not always easy to pick out that's another little downside bracelet's okay milanese mesh is nice but i think it would have been better on a leather uh, for, for this era a proper rally style leather with little holes in it make it look like a sportier watch dark brown leather maybe a tan i think this is a good quality melon melanese i can't say melon, milanese mesh it really works it does look smart melanese the date wheel would have been nice if that was black instead of white in this but again when you're buying budget movements for a budget watch you don't always have the option to have that color difference so i still think it's okay as having a white date wheel but if i'm being really picky it does sort of clash with the, well, the fact you've got just black orange and silver on there they really had the budget the budget the budget an orange date wheel with black text that would have been very snazzy i wish the pushers had a bit more feel on that's one of those things you get with a quartz chronograph movement a mechanical one you do get that positive click as you're using it real mechanical feedback but this isn't mechanical so you're not going to get that so once you press that button it doesn't have any feel after that gorgeous so in summary guys would i recommend this watch definitely I've, i think it's gorgeous i bought this watch primarily for its looks and the fact that accurist is is a good value budget british brand which trusted and you know it's easy to get and then i've got this really quick it's in the uk and all that stuff and it's nice to have that convenience as well of buying it but it's still a practical watch you could wear every day i mean it's it is fun but it, i'd say it's more for weekends it's a weekend fun watch this definitely and for that it works extremely well if you don't like this colorway there are three other options to so check out um watch shop i bought it from there they sell them at h samuel and just loads of online retailers just shop around i'll pop the link in the description so if you like that go and have a look if you've liked this video all i really ask of you if you have liked it give it a thumbs up give it a like no more requirements from you other than that but if you want to subscribe go for it but no pressure just if you like it thumbs up Pleasure seeing you guys. It's always a joy to share these little finds I've had. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.